Welcome, I'm David Geiger. A little crop got in the ground this past week despite colder temperatures. According to the Iowa Crop Progress Report, cold weather delayed planting again for some farmers, but by the end of the week, planting accelerated. 20% of Iowa's corn crop has been planted about a day behind the five-year average. Last year at this time, 34% was planted. Some farmers got soybeans in the ground with 6% of the crop planted three days ahead of normal. Last year at this time, it was 8%. 83% of Iowa's expected oak crop is planted six days ahead of the five-year average. Topsoil moisture levels are still 65% adequate, while subsoil moisture has jumped to 45% adequate. Pasture conditions are at 45% good or excellent, with calving reportedly going well. Arguments are scheduled this week in the Supreme Court to make a final decision on biofuel rulings. Four agriculture and biofuel groups will argue the court should affirm a 2020 decision from the U.S. Tenth Circuit Court of Appeals, which held only small refineries should have been continuously exempt from obligations under the Renewable Fuel Standard. The ruling has backing from the Environmental Protection Agency, which says the district court ruling is consistent with the Clean Air Act. Grains continue to march upward. Our analyst Don Rose has the details. The grain market continues to see some uh, strength to the market. The uh, beat goes on. The market is really pushing to the upside pretty aggressive, trying to ration supplies. We do have deliveries coming up on Thursday, so that's going to be a sign of who wants delivery. And for right now, it's a squeeze uh, that is going on for the uh, deliverable supplies. The dry conditions, uh, driving force uh, continue in Brazil, looks like for the next 10 days on that second corn crop. Planning progress, uh, pretty much close to on average, so not an issue there. We're going to see if we can buy the acres right now, and we're going to see at what price level we shake some supplies loose from the farmer as he's in the field. The cattle market's seeing uh, some strength in here a bit. Uh, part of the uh, strength is coming from the fact that the grain market uh, acting a little more mature. When you look at the hog market, uh, taking a little bit of a breather here, I think the fear remains on hogs. We're uh, so dependent on China, uh, continuing to be a big, uh, big buyer of U.S. beef. Their herd looks like it continues to expand, so that's a concern. We're uh, sitting at price levels that the uh, uh, demand may be slowing down a little bit at the present time. It all adds up to a market that the, uh, the uh, uh, cutouts continues to be strong, but maybe at some toppy type of levels. Nearly 30 million kids will get food over the summer. The Department of Agriculture announced a new effort funded by the American Rescue Plan providing adequate nutrition to millions of kids. It expands the pandemic electronic benefit transfer. The USDA says summer months are difficult for low-income children because they lack access to school meals. And that's all I have for the Agribusiness Report today. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you again next time. We have our stories online. Head over to who13.com, click news, and then agribusiness.